Hey everybody, Johan Magnusson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and I'm here today with the Memphis Wood Fire Grill to cook up one of my favorite appetizers. We're gonna grill some romaine hearts, we're gonna put some crispy bacon on top, we're gonna add a little bit of homemade Caesar dressing, and just to finish it off, some shaved Parmesan cheese. I hope you enjoy this. For the detailed step-by-step -step instruction to this recipe, check out the description below or go to Memphis Wood Fire Grills website, www.memphisgrills.com. So the first thing that we want to do is want to season the bacon. So I'm going to take a little bit of coarse black pepper and just sprinkle that on one side of the bacon. When you've seasoned the bacon, it's time to put it on the upper rack on the Memphis Wood Fire Grill, and we're going to cook it until it's crispy. We also want to slide a drip pan underneath the bacon to collect all the bacon drippings. We're going to use that a little bit later when we cook the romaine heart. So it's been about 10 minutes, the bacon is getting crispy, so it's time to uh, remove it from the uh, Memphis wood fire grill. Put it on a paper towel to cool off a little bit. And you also want to make sure that you remove the dripping pan with the bacon fat and set that aside to cool off a little bit. So now it's time to make the homemade Caesar dressing. And once you've made this recipe, you will never, ever, ever, ever go back to buying from the store again. So the first thing that you want to do is take six anchovy fillets. You want to mix that with about one clove of garlic, a little bit of sea salt, and then you want to start chopping these up. After chopping the anchovy fillets, it's now time to use the flat end of the knife to press down and turn the anchovies into a paste. Uh, put the anchovy paste in a bowl. Then you wanna take uh, two egg yolks. You wanna take three quarters of a teaspoon of some uh, Dijon mustard. You wanna take about two tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. So let's do freshly squeezed. That's about one tablespoon. And then we have the second tablespoon. And then of course, add a little bit of Worcester sauce and a little bit of hot sauce. That gives it both a nice color, but also a little bit bite, which you want in your Caesar dressing. Next, we want to add the oil. And we do that by adding drop by drop to start and then gradually whisk in more. So we're going to start with uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil and then we're gonna add about half a cup of olive oil. The Caesar dressing now has a very creamy and glossy texture. It's perfect for what we want. So we now wanna add about three tablespoons of finely grated Parmesan. We wanna add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt just for taste. And if needed, a little bit more of lemon juice. And we set that aside and then we're gonna break up the bacon. So what we did with the romaine hearts is that we cut them in half, we rinsed them thoroughly, and then we patted them dry. And now it's time to give them some oil before we put them on the grill. And you can, of course, use vegetable oil or olive oil, but this is where that good bacon drippings comes into play. I just love bacon on this because as we know, they can make everything taste better. So what you want to do is you want to pencil a, a light layer of bacon on top of the romaine hearts. Add a little bit of coarse black pepper and some sea salt. And then we're just gonna grill them for a couple of minutes over direct flame maximum power. You don't really wanna overcook these romaine hearts. You just wanna give them some nice looking char for extra flavor. So let's put them in the grill. After you remove the romaine hearts from the grill, it's time to drizzle them with the homemade Caesar dressing, add a little bit of that crispy bacon, and then finally grate a lot of good Parmesan cheese on top of it. So that's how you make grilled romaine hearts with a homemade Caesar dressing, crispy bacon, and Parmesan cheese. If you like this recipe, subscribe to Memphis Woodfire Grill's YouTube channel for more recipes like this. 
or check out their website. Now, uh, I guess the uh, you can eat this with a knife and fork. Uh, this is how I eat it. Yeah. You get a good tart flavor. You get the crispy bacon. You got the tanginess in the Caesar dressing. And then you get the creaminess of the Parmesan cheese. This is really good. I uh, hope you try it. Hope you liked it. And happy grilling. Oh my. Good stuff.